Tuesdays, the 1 second. New here, my wife of six years talked to a guy, lives right nearby after a 5km run. He, according to her, forced his way into her life via texting and phone calls. I was emotionally distant to her quite a bit at the time so she was in a bad spot. She is very insecure anyway so I can see that. I caught her talking with him and she apparently ended it immediately. Nine months later there is no evidence of anything but that being true, and I have checked believe me. Now, I'm not sure why but I still obsess and bring it up all the time. I don't get what I need from her emotionally but she gives it her all. She has left me a love note every morning for eight months. And everything else a husband could want she has basically done. Well, except that she is unbelievably clingy. Like follows me from room to room. What the hell is wrong with me? I feel like I love her but not sure how I get over this thing and stop bringing it up. I am pretty sure, since my wife is a very sweet and loving person from a very caring family, that it was just talking in the first place. Any advice on how I can stop being a punk and get over this? She spends every waking moment with me and gets upset when I'm not two feet in front of her talking. My recovery from this is really like she did the whole thing anyway. Crushed me because my wife is so far from the type of person to cheat. Sounds like excuses but she is unbelievably nice to everyone. Probably too nice to be rude, which almost got her in trouble. She has told me all details, went to his house three times. Once for five minutes and she did not go inside. The next she did but stayed ten minutes, scared, and left quickly. Now the last time. Stayed thirty minutes talking about Thanksgiving, family etc. That one worries me but next day she was caught on the phone. It's her weakness in being led astray that worries me, not her character per se. Again, I was ignoring her a lot. Admittedly. So, she was alone, felt irrelevant, felt worthless, needed someone to talk to. Those type words come from her so I understand her position. Still, I really need to stop punishing her. This has already helped. I feel like a heel and it's time to man up, I guess. I realize had a standard for this woman that is not completely real. Still, she is really pretty dang wonderful and I feel terrible when I hurt her so whether I decide to stay or not I definitely don't want to make her pay anymore. She has begged, pleaded and done so much to show me she is remorseful. I'm going to continue to give it time and try forgiveness and much harder, complete trust for a while. It will end up as it should, that I'm sure of. Thanks again to everyone who responded. This forum is extremely helpful. Well as I stated, I am getting over the whole thing anyway. I have treated this as if she slept with this person. I'm pretty damn sure she didn't. I mean in two weeks. It's possible but the point is that she didn't pursue it with him. Is it possible she is talking with him? Anything is possible but why at this point? Why not just leave? Why act like you want this marriage? Why go to counseling? To think she will tell me every detail hurtful or not isn't realistic. She told me a lot. It hurt and she paid a hefty price emotionally, believe you me. I have been very hard on her with this. Almost left several times. She goes crazy crying and pleading with me to stay. She just does. So, question is, what price does she need to pay? If I continue to hound and punish her is that the answer? I have berated her about it for 8 months. Given her every single opportunity to come clean. She says that we just talked. She will not say she did something she did not do because I want to hear it. This over unbelievable crying and anxiety from her. The girl doesn't seem to be trickle truth any more than anyone does normally. Don't know, sounds like maybe I should hate her and leave. We had this out again last night in major detail. These women were terrified when she was with him and felt like everyone knew what she was doing and felt horrible. She said she didn't even like the guy and didn't even really want to go the last time. The next day, after DD, when I told her I did in fact love her it was. The best day of my life, it really was. Don't know I'm going to T-R-U-E-L-Y forgive and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? She leaves, does it again, over anyway. This was a serious growing up period for me. Good can come of this ridiculous pain, I'm sure of it. Thanks again. Wanted to add that I have been seriously too scared to fix this thing so far. Healing period is very long and not over. Anyone in this position must flesh out those big four things mentioned. Completely agree. There will come a day, if you do stay, that you will have to start to forgive. I am not taking blame it is all hers. I'd say to try to have some compassion as it does hurt the cheater as well very much, especially if she loved you all along. My marriage is going to survive because of this wake-up call. I will not be ignoring and mentally hurting my wife with lies and selfishness. Eventually that has to happen. Might as well be now. My wife did in fact have a physical affair, once she says, I'm sure, and just told me after nine months of lying. She even placed her hand on the Bible and lied. I knew something wasn't right the whole time. Problem is, I still feel like she is lying. I can see it. I am so damn crushed I can't function. I have already started my plan to leave her. This is going to suck so bad. I love her with all my soul. I am so destroyed. I cried like a baby over this. So unbelievable that she would do this. I found out everything about this guy and she knows it. I know where he lives, his ex-wives I mean everything. I told her I was going to call him and if needed drop by his house for a chat. That's when the ball dropped. I have counseling today and plan on going. She is terrified I am leaving her right now. Every day is a personal hell for her from what I can tell. She is I mean shaking terrified of me leaving her. 
In the end, I know that is going to happen. I've already told her we will be moving. Once that house sells, yeah, she said okay. My ball will drop on her. Mean, I know. Still not sure I'll do it. Also, she said she was pressured to do it the one time. Stopped it during because she was appalled and left immediately. She did call him the next day, however. This woman is sick. She slept with me three times yesterday and does everything to keep me but I'm about done here. She has serious self-esteem issues. Just got off the phone with her. She is crying hysterically at work telling me she would never hurt me again. I've had no other proof of anything but I still think she is lying. I can just feel it. If she is lying now, I think it has to be that she is still seeing him. Why else hide it? Can someone explain why a woman would do everything? I mean everything for me to fix this. Eight months of love notes every morning. Transparent as hell, I have no idea how she could hide it. I know her where she's at all the time except work and have her time sheets saying she is on the clock at the hospital. Is there a way that she did end it like she said and is scared to death of me leaving? I still have no proof at all she is lying now. Wouldn't anyone hide the hideous truth of sleeping with another man to save the marriage? Would it matter if I said that this woman comes from an unreal family and those people are like gold character wise? Never did anything wrong. How could she be so broken? Maybe she could be telling the truth. I'm lost with this obviously and love her with my whole soul. I'm definitely in trouble with this one. I feel paranoid so I kind of know something is up. If she is still seeing him, she is a genius at this. I have told her it will kill me if I find her doing it again and I'm taking him with me. She tells me that she would never talk to the piece of crap again. She cries like all the time about what she did. She says she can't believe she did it and will always pay for it. I'm telling you that this woman is around me every second we are together. I know for sure she cares tremendously about me. Thing is this, can a woman really love two men like this? I know this woman loves me. I can see it clearly. I am so torn here. This girl is so nice it is not funny. I mean she has never done anything wrong in like seven years except this one thing. I mean nothing wrong. I am mean and she apologizes and cries for me to be nice. She is that nice. She told me she ended it on DD. Told him she could not talk to him because she loves her husband. The next day I told her I love her and she called it the best day of my life for me to show her I loved her. She says she has been 100% committed to fixing this since that day. She can lie dot and no doubt but can she be this terrible and hide it and show my unbelievable love and regret. She'd have to be sick right. I have monitored her phone, our laptop, her time sheets at work and been with her almost all the time for this nine months. We have come so far in this relationship. That said, I did ask her flat out do you see this man at lunch? She got defensive. I can see deceit in her. I cried last night when I saw it. I am very, very scared that she is still talking with this man. If so, it is way too late. We have done counseling, talked every night for nine months. She has slept with me almost every night for nine months. She cries, pleads, that she loves me and would never do anything ever. She is begging for me to forgive her and move on. If she is seeing this man right now, she is definitely totally attached and my marriage and beautiful family are gone. We have four kids. I am so afraid that I am going to be destroyed by this woman. I swear to look at her she is the nicest person in the world. I cannot believe in a million years she would hurt someone like this. It is unfathomable. Let me add something. Before this happened, I was an alcoholic, my wife never drinks, and I ignored her most of the time. Now I am with her all the time and quit drinking. I am three times the husband and father I ever was then. So, she could possibly have gotten rid of that guy, wanting me the whole time, and never gone back and is waiting for me to heal. That could be true right? She says that all the time. She tells me he reminded her of me all the time and how she always loved me especially when she was with this man. She said she felt like vomiting. She was scared and felt horrible about it and knew it was wrong. I did not offer her that. Those are her words. I cannot for sure know exactly what happened but she is still here telling me she is waiting for me to trust her and love her. She says that is all she wants in this life and it means the world to her. She wants us fixed. Why not just go get the guy? She said fine when I told her about this. I know. I am terrified to trust her again right now but there is no question that this woman loves me very deeply. No doubt. She wants me and not just this family. I know that. Again, we are face to face every night, every day all day talking, kissing, crying, etc. all the time. Why would someone fake all that? But whatever, she has a serious anxiety problem from way back, anorexia, and gets scared to death when I get mad. Couldn't that explain her strange behavior? I am trying to fix this marriage and those things seem reasonable. In fact, how does a woman with that disorder just do this? She would be terrified all the time. I'm not sure she could do it realistically. You know what dot my marriage and family are over now. Cannot believe it. I don't know anything yet but I just know this is over now. My kids will be so hurt. I am so lost right now. You know she asked me if we could get remarried a few weeks back. It is so unreal I cannot believe it with the way she has tried so hard with me. Can't get my head around it. Damn. Before Dee Dee I would have said this woman was the best person I have ever met by far. She is that nice. Wipes me out. I cannot live with her now. I've given it everything for like 9 months and she lied about sleeping with the other man until last weekend. 
lied to my face for nine months while I cried and got mentally unstable because I knew she was lying. I still think she is lying. Questions I have if anyone knows. How do I leave with mortgage and bills? I have to live somewhere but not sure I can afford it. Do I need to file for legal separation? My wife wants me to stay but I cannot. Destroyed and cannot cope. A week later, before my wife's affair I didn't care much, and did my own thing mostly. I loved being alone and spending time with friends etc. We were friends and it was nice at times but not great. Admittedly I drank too much watch ball games etc. I know that is exactly why the affair happened. That said, since the affair I am now obsessed with her. I spend every waking moment with her, she loves it apparently, and feel manipulated into giving up everything outside of her comfort zone. What happened? Why is that? I'm guessing I cannot make sense of this and my wife is truly remorseful and really loving now. The resentment appears to be growing nine months out. I have serious anger issues so this is like a toxic mix right now. What happened here? Wonder why I now care so damn much. I hate the affair but love her like five times more. Bizarre. It's also like great with her now. But then unreal frustrating at other times. I'm about to end up and be myself but now I'm worried she'll cheat again. Still back and forth but moving towards leaving. House if going up for sale soon. I think she is definitely lying to me about things and probably still seeing the other man. I could be paranoid but highly doubt it. Not sure this is normal but I feel like I've moved on the hate mode. I want my cheating wife to pay. Starting to wonder why this thing bothered me so bad to begin with. She doesn't deserve marriage and I don't want her now. I'm just playing the game now but actively looking for revenge. This has made me a very bad guy right now. I just hate her. That normal or have I lost it? I am being really mean. Including telling her I had a two affairs that never happened. I know it's sick but she is extremely scared that I am going to leave her. It's like a mirror of me. She is very upset about the other woman and I have a great story for her too. This is bad I know but it is helping. She is super remorseful now. I'm turning into a sick person but I'm making sure she cares. She seems to care a ton about this. She is terrified of this other woman. I think my wife really loves me. It's mean as hell but fair play. I have to know if this other guy is still here. Doesn't seem so, but still a tad of doubt. Very little now though. She said she lost respect for me for the affairs but then again, she is treating me with utmost respect and taking me very seriously now. Interesting. She doesn't want to lose this marriage that is obvious. Also, she loves me quite a bit that too is obvious. Maybe we both got a wake up call. Again, I spend all my time with her now and she hates to let me out of her sight. As long as she isn't seeing someone, highly doubtful as I check everything, this marriage is actually pretty damn good. Like, we hold hands everywhere we go, talk all the time. Nobody I know does that. We are down to this. If she is seeing someone else, she is doing it over lunch at work, 30 minutes lunch every day, or leaving work on the clock risking her career because she clocks and I have every time sheet from her. There is no other time unaccounted for, none. Is that possible to keep that going? I really don't have any more concrete evidence at all but I feel it. She says it's depression and she want to X herself for hurting me like this. She took a knife and started X her arm last night. It was heartbreaking. I really feel she is wrapped up in something but can't prove it. Can't afford a PA or I would. She still balls over and over how she loves me and wants me and only me. I just don't believe her anymore and feel like I'm dying basically. She is still trying but something is really wrong, I just feel it. Or I am completely paranoid. One or the other. She got a haircut, almost three hours, last night and came home with freshly makeup. She said she wanted to look pretty with her new haircut for me because she changed the color. I got totally mean and she shut down as usual. I just don't buy the stories although she has almost no time outside of working to see this guy. She would have to do it over lunch or on the clock. I have everything exposed. Still no relief and don't believe her. If she is telling me the truth it should be me ex myself. I'm horrible if she isn't doing anything. She is incredibly sweet and does everything to show me she cares. I still think she is cake eating though. Maybe I'm just hurt and need time. I love her and treat her like freaking gold most of the time when I'm not realizing from this affair. I've told her I'm not good for her right now but she tells me I'm her soul mate and she cannot live without me. Don't know, doesn't sound like she is still having an affair but I'm just so paranoid. Maybe it's the meds. If I do trust her and she's cheating I'm done for. That I'm pretty sure of dot and no way I'd come back from that. I love her like oxygen. I am 9 months out from D-Day. But I found out just recently it was physical. Still, my wife has been trying everything that I can think of, although I'm paranoid she is seeing him cause I'm a douche sometimes, to make me happy. I'm probably going to lose her but I'm reserved to the fact it isn't working. I have pretty much given up drinking. I have done it here and there but less than 5 times in 9 plus months. I gave it up mostly after this. Also, we talk all night every night, like 5 to 6 hours a night and are intertwined. Doctor says that's bad as we are getting too close, like we cannot be away from each other. It's strange. I know she loves me. I know she wants the marriage. I think I'm done with these meds. They mess with my brain too much. I need to work on being nice all the time no matter what I think is going on. I wish I was better at it. A month later. Today is her birthday and I have been crazy nice to her since early this morning. 
She was singing as I dropped her off at work and so happy. I know, it's up to me here. In the back of my tortured mind, I don't see this really working out. It is so sad but the wife I had before is dead. I love her but hate her too. I really have a deep feeling that I will leave her soon but just not quite there yet. One year out from DD. I have traded in my car, refinanced the house, lowered all my bills and looked at apartments. It seems inevitable now that I will be leaving her without a serious change of heart. Oh, and my wife has been super wife lately. She is terrified of me leaving, like physically ill when it comes up. She knows what is happening here. I swear I just feel like some people, like me, just are not wired to get over this kind of thing. Too painful. I will add that getting with God has helped me quite a bit lately. He wants me happy and seriously no one should ever give anyone the power to allow another person to hurt them this badly. In honesty, I've hurt her worse over the years by ignoring her feelings too much. Sometimes it is best to just move on. I feel like I will forgive her completely in time, just not sure I want her anymore knowing what I know. My comment, I guess OP feels his problem caused the affair that happened in their marriage. He has to decide what is happiness for him. If he takes his wife back, it is what it is. Some people disagree, but I think when people take their affair partner back, there is one less cheater on the market, you agree. Story 2 I'm thinking of leaving my husband after three months of knowing he went to a massage with a happy ending. He has apologized, cried, going to counseling, been really good and says he went astray. I just can't face the fact that I have a husband who did this, and probably won't ever be able to live with it in any form. It sickens me, even though he's been almost the perfect husband and father for 30 years. Is this too drastic? And going to counseling also. He started to not be interested in me about three years ago, and I thought it was just his age and things were going to slow down in the bedroom then. I didn't want to ask him too much about it because I noticed he couldn't perform well and didn't want to embarrass him. He told me that's when he'd started viewing videos on a regular basis, so that was his replacement for me. He then got a high-powered job working for a national organization and had to travel across the country a lot. A friend told him to go to this massage place, it was fantasy coming to life. He went three times on three different trips over a three-month period. This is what I'm told anyway. He set up the meetings by email, and I found one that was my awakening moment. Anyway, now he has quit that job because he feels if he travels. It's a trigger for him to do this again, but says he wouldn't and hasn't ever thought about it at home. This was the job of a lifetime for him, but realized he had to quit to save the marriage. He has another job, this was an extra one. I can't get the visions out of my head of him getting a good time and rushing by a 23-year-old girl. He said he had a great time. He has a 23-year-old daughter. As for premeditating the meetings, he started thinking about going two months before he went. This bothers me a lot more than if he was just drunk one night and ended up doing it. I asked him if he ever thought about me before or after going to the massages and he said no. Don't understand this either. Anyway, now we are working at things. He is off the videos and says he will tell me if he has any urges to view it again but says he hasn't since this happened. We are having relations very frequently now, although it's forced for me now. He told me that looking at videos had warped his view of women and he needed them to be 25 with a nice body. I don't know if he's told me everything, but I hope I can build up some trust in him. What I'm really thinking is if he can do the massage, then what else is he going to do in the future? He says nothing, but I don't know this person anymore and we'll see what the future will bring, but I am ready for whatever now. I'm getting myself a little more independent with bank accounts, charge cards and a bit of a life for myself outside of my marriage. It's empowering to know you can do it on your own if you're prepared. I went to my counselor this morning and she said it is great to be at the stage of taking your life by the reins rather than sitting and feeling like a victim. I hope I'm past that stage for good, but it will probably creep up now and then. My husband says he hasn't done anything else in our 30 years of marriage, but I wouldn't have found out about this if I didn't catch him. He said he would have kept on doing it and it probably would have escalated two more. He admitted that. I really may never know if he has done anything else. Thank God I saw the email. The thing is I think a lot of the reason my husband married me was for my looks. 30 years later and 10 pounds heavier, wrinkles, it's not the same. I think I've always had good self-esteem about my looks and everything else, and this is the first time I've doubted myself to this level. I'm going to work on myself, for me, and I think that will make me feel more empowered and get the confidence back. Then, I will look at this situation hopefully more clearly and see it for what it is, I hope. Months later, my husband and I are working on reconnecting after his infidelity. We're both working on getting over the betrayal. He is doing everything he can to make things get better, basically whatever I want. I have been wondering now, five months after, can you ever really love the WS like you did before the betrayal, or just in a different way which is not as deeply as before? I'm finding that you can't love someone, maybe I mean unconditionally, as I did before. I loved him through everything and anything before, but he never did anything like this to hurt me before. I miss the kind of love I had for him before. We have both been to IC for four months now. 
For me, it has helped me understand a lot of things about human nature which I was too naive to realize before all this. I guess I knew a lot of things but never realized it would happen in my marriage, because I was so secure in it. I guess I will have to live with the fact that it is what it is, but I find it a great loss. We are trying to move forward from this after going to counseling and I think we are okay now, except I will never feel the same about him. I only told two people of this betrayal in our marriage as I live in a small town and also am so embarrassed of what he did. I told my sister and my best friend, of 45 years. My sister is doing fine with it and everything is as it was before, but my friend won't speak to my husband unless she absolutely has to. No more visiting at our homes, talking, having dinners, boating, etc. anymore. She says she just can't deal with him anymore seeing how it hurt me, exploited the massage person, and just how disgusting an act it is. I told her to deal with it on her own time and how she feels like dealing with it. I speak to her by phone and we go out for lunch once in a while. I don't ever want to lose this friendship as we met when we were 11, and it's a friendship of a lifetime and too precious to lose. I do feel though that she should be trying more to include him in her life again, as we are best friends and likely always will be. We were all like family before this. I just don't like all the snide remarks and saying she won't be able to be around him, because I am living with him and moving forward. She thinks I should ask him to leave. Some people, men, say this is not really cheating, but I feel it is. He said he would have continued if he hadn't been caught. Says he will never do it again as it has caused him so much grief. I am now nine months past all of this and still cannot seem to move on. I've ended counseling in July as my counselor just told me it's time to move on. I can't seem to let go of the resentment of the betrayal to get on with life. My husband has tried to help with Caribbean vacation, time together, basically whatever I want, but it doesn't help. Am I crazy or what? Few months later, my husband has cheated on me in the past year twice. I won't go into the whole story, but I would like your views on me asking him for a post-nuptial agreement. He has great remorse and is doing what he can to get back my trust. We are financially comfortable and in our 50s. I have only been working very part-time in the past 10 years, so I don't have a steady source of income. Do you think it is too much to ask that he sign a post-nuptial agreement for the financial future stating how assets would be divided if he chose to cross boundaries again? This would include anything to do with another woman, including online affairs, anything to do with dirty on the computer, so many ways I don't even know them all, escorts, massage parlors, excessive use of videos. He has crossed some of these boundaries. This agreement would be in my favor leaving me with 75% of our assets, which are quite substantial. He would leave him half his pension and a modest home, condo for him to live in without a mortgage. He would be able to live on this with no problem, but not luxury. Am I being too harsh? My accountant says she has had many of her clients who have entered into legal post-nup agreements as I have stated and they have stood up in a divorce. A lawyer's wife even did it and it stood up. She got 100%. Why should I have a worse life financially when my husband didn't want me working? He wanted me to be his house mouse. As to him leaving me, so be it if he wants to, but I have to start looking out for myself instead of letting him be in control of everything. I'm finally mustering up the strength to take charge of my own life and do the best I can for my girls. The changes I am making are, he can no longer take trips to Vegas and other parts of the US for golf tournaments, sports games with his friends. I am now going to be aware of our financial lives which he totally looked after before. I should be more aware. I gave him total trust and free reign to go and do anything he wanted prior to this time. I was always encouraging him to do things with his friends, fly here, fly there, go to NFL, NHL, baseball games, whatever. I gave him too much freedom without a peep. I was happy that he was having such a good time and was able to do things he loved. This was part of the problem I believe, just too much freedom and complete security. It went too far though when he was out of town so much. I was at home scrubbing floors and doing his laundry and ironing ready for his next little outing. I was really happy doing these things because I wanted him to have fun and like his life. Doormat and doting wife, stupid wife, no more. It's my anniversary today and I'm just feeling a bit sad and thinking a lot. Two years later, my husband and I have had problems in the past with his infidelity. I have a question to ask you ladies and also would like some feedback from the men. My husband goes for coffee breaks with a group of married men and women to a place near the large company where he works. It used to be only the men went, but now some ladies are joining them. I have read a lot on infidelity and affair prevention which suggests socializing in mixed company can be a high-risk environment. I have been thinking that I should suggest that this might not be the best thing for him to be doing but have been hesitant about it because I don't want to be too controlling. He also isn't a very social person with no friends, so this is his only socialization he really ever gets in his life and don't want to take that away from him. We don't have a mortgage anymore but he does have the larger income. He is at the top of his range in his career and is retiring in two years so there is no more advancement to be made so he doesn't need to socialize or be friends with anyone at work for that reason. He does make comments about women at work and how they look, etc. We have worked things out in the past two years and he is no longer visiting the city for work where he cheated, so I do believe that behavior is over with, but who really knows. 
I have decided I will ask him if he believes married men and women should be together socializing every day. It is not in a company coffee room, but a cafe. He could easily just go to a different cafe, at least some of the time. I think that he gave me reason to not trust him, so he should do whatever I feel comfortable with no, within reason. My comment, would you consider it cheating if your partner went to a massage place? Comment down and I got a longer story prepared for you guys, stay tuned.